name is Seth Davidson. I'm interviewing John. Good morning, John. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Can you briefly describe your life before your brain injury? I was fine up until the um, till I was ten months old. That's when I had my stroke. Mm-hmm. I know I had a fever of 107. Wow. I say I couldn't walk. I walked. I played sports, and this coming month is. I don't know if you probably heard that my old karate instructor is coming in to do a demo. Can you tell me about work? What do you do for work? Yeah. I stock the cooler at mobile. I sweep the floor, mop the floor. You're basically janitor. <laughs> Empty that, the trash. That's great. It's still a job, though. Yeah. You still have some place to go to. That's Almost awesome. nine bucks an hour. Up for another raise, hopefully. That's awesome. This week. How, what do you think are your biggest challenges? That's a good question. <laughs> I just take one day at a time. And that's the way I lead my life on a day-to-day basis. Whatever what life deals me is what I go for. Mm-hmm. Do you have uh, memory issues or um, not none? How about uh, do your limbs move okay? Do you have any problems walking or talking? Not at all. That's great. You're very lucky. How about financially? I'm sitting pretty good. I know John likes to spend. <laughs> As you probably know, you probably like to go to the mall. <laughs> I know I'll get you on that one. What do you think is your biggest challenge? I like to teach people how to cook and fend for themselves. Because my mother was a by trade so she taught me stuff so I'm teaching other people whenever I go into the cooking group well that's great do you have anything that you have a hard time with stuff that you just frustrates you no you're very lucky how do you feel emotionally today very good because every day as easy yeah. as this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stressful at work, but <laughs> that's besides the point. I think it's like that for everybody. How about your belief system? I go to church. Um, I do have a spiritual life. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to Bible study tonight. Cool. How long have you been doing that? For, let me count, three years and counting? Mm-hmm. Have you always gone to church? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) Something new, or did you do it as a kid and then not do it for a while and decide to do it again? Or My aunt sort of pushed it on me, and then I withdrew for a long period of time. Then it was sitting right outside my uh, front window of my bedroom, of all places. They um, started in a school, then bought a building. I actually rented a building. Needed some serious renovation to it. Mm. <laughs> Floors were warped. <laughs> you would never know the church existed three years, two, year, two years ago to three years ago. Mm-hmm. That's great. I helped build it. That's awesome. That must be very rewarding to uh, be able to walk into a place that you helped create. What kind of a church is it? Is it like Catholic or Buddhist? It's called the Community Church of Exeter. Uh huh. So anybody can go, like oh, yourself. That's great. And you do that every week? Yeah. Plus the Bible study thing? Yeah. That's great. I got my elders keeping me in line. Right. <laughs> do you have any communication challenges? Do you find it hard to talk to anybody? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a very outgoing person. That's great. How does it make you feel when you uh, communicate with people? You find it relatively easy? Yeah. I I find out that I'm helping people. 
in my life instead of thinking of myself. And I'm sure it helps you too. Yeah. To hear what people have to say or what they've been going through or what their emotion is. How about goals for yourself? What kind of goals do you have? To be at my job and um, just as long um, as my old co-worker, 10 years. Eventually, um, I'll be moving down to Mississippi because my mom bought land down there. Oh, neat. Yeah. That's a retirement plan. Pretty good. <laughs> well, that's a great idea. Is that where your family is originally from? Or are they originally My stepfather's. From? Yeah. Your mom's side of the family is from the New Hampshire area? Yeah. Um, Connecticut. Right. New England. Yeah. <laughs> after you uh, put your 10 years in, um, what would you like to do after that? After you move to Mississippi or something like that, what would you like to do? Oh, good. <laughs> Never thought of that. Look after my parents. When they're old and gray. <laughs> That's very nice of you. What do you think that um, Stepping Stones has done for you? How do you feel about Stepping Stones program? I think it's a great program. It's more so when I did the martial arts, I'd rather see my money go here than spend it on the martial arts because I benefit a lot more. You got classes after classes. What What are your, some of your favorite classes that you attend? Transitions with Pam, um, the aromatherapy, um, the computer class that they hold during the fall. Mm -hmm. Start up my own web page, which I'm still working on that. Neat. <laughs> What do you think of the people at Stepping Stones? Very nice. Very helpful. 